With mental health deemed by the medical world as the latest epidemic, it shows that for many of us, the toughest battle is with it. That's right. Warren Falkenstein is a man who knows a thing or two about physical and mental battles, and he joins us now with tips on how you can build mental stamina. Good morning, uh, Warren, and I guess let's, let's start with this. Why, why do they call you Warrior Warren? Hi, good morning. Thank you for having me. Um, well, it started off with a friend of mine who really started to see me who I am and the strength and helped me to see myself in a different light. Throughout my life, I've been de dealing with different challenges. And the last stage talk I gave, I actually um, declared on stage that I'm not just a survivor, I'm a warrior. Can you talk about how you got to where you are today? Well, there has been a lot of self-development work and it started off as an, an illness that came by surprise when I was a child. And I spent most of my time in a wheelchair and suffering with that kind of disability and that kind of illness throughout your life, everything is amplified, your emotional pain, your spiritual pain, your physical pain, and feeling isolated and lonely. And I had to make a choice whether to choose to be a victim of my circumstances or overcome it and live a life of a purpose. Well said, uh, Warren. And, you know, listen, we all face adversity, some more than others, and it sounds like you've faced a great deal of, of adversity. Can you give us uh, some tips on how all of us can, can better handle the adversity that comes our way? I, I'd be happy to. There, there is, um, there's always the fear of the unknown, and there's always the fear of not being able to handle what we're given in life. And one of the things that I teach a lot of my students is that we are able to handle almost everything that comes our way. And one of the best things that we can do is to be in a calm state. And by practicing every single day, different mindful techniques, whether it's be breathing or bringing ourselves back to the present moment, we're able to be more proactive when a situation hits, um, whether it be breathing techniques or whether it be um, just being in a calm state to proactively deal with that situation. How is there power um, in showing up in spite of? We always inspire other people when we are living in our, pa our passion and we're inspiring other people the way that we show up in life. In my situation, it's difficult for me to show up the way that I do, despite the pain that I'm dealing with. And it brings me joy to show up in life to inspire other people and to um, bring more joy to those around me. When we show up in our lives, we ignite this energy within ourselves to bring happiness that is lacking in human connection. And I think that is something that is very important, uh, human connection. Warren, if somebody's watching us right now that is uh, struggling with their mental health, what, what advice would you have for that person? I will tell them that they're not alone and that there are a lot of people in this world that are suffering in silence and that there's help available, whether they reach out to family members or practitioners out there, there's always a way for us to overcome whatever we're dealing with. And that um, it, it's not, te it's, it's temporary and that we're gonna be able to get through it together, especially when we're knowing that we're not alone. Warren, I guess, is, is there anything else you wanted to share just about um, overcoming adversity or how to show up that you wanted to um, say for people who might be struggling? The more, the more that we reframe our mindset, the more that we reframe the things that we're dealing with in our lives, the more that we're going to be able to see things differently. And by surrounding ourselves from the books we read, the, the TV shows that we watch, and our entire environment affects our mindset. And I think that's something that really has helped me a lot, especially every single morning. I need to train myself in a way to be able to deal with the unexpected and still live a life of purpose over pain. Absolutely. Thank you, Warren. Great advice. For more information and testimonials on Warren's work, you can visit his website at walkwithwarren.com.